You Perry Lynn? Yes. Tony Soprano. Ah. How you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Olivia, your son is here. And isn't he a handsome teen? And look what he brought. I right, listen. Let's get one thing straight. In the hours you're here taking care of my mother, no ganja, okay? Hey, Ma! Fiori! Okay, let's be very cool, yo! Down out of the cab! You heard the motherfucker! Hurry up! Yo, chill. I'm a friend of Billy's. Your friend in the inside? Yeah, cool. No props here. Increase the peace, that's our motto. I'm gonna take my lunch, okay? Yeah, whatever, come on. Hold up, man. You can't drive a Fisher Price. Point sideways, shit. <laughs> get out. Come on, get down. You drive, I'll direct it. Oh. Jeez. Control your shit, fool. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck. Surprised to see me? Heard they took you for a little ride to the Meadowlands. Oh, yeah? Heard you had a little BM out there. Yeah, so you got my cut? They came and took it. Who? Junior Soprano's boy. They said you was out in the state corner now. You let them do that? <laughs> I don't argue too well sucking on the Smith & Wesson. You didn't beat me? Word on the street. You out of commission. Sorry, man. Business. Chris. You know, there's no one I'd rather give my 10 points to than you. It's all right. It's not your fault. Oh, I'm glad that you say that, man. Ah, oh, you sneaky motherfucker! Oh, oh shit! Oh! I don't care if they shove a Scud missile up your ass. This is my corner. You pay anyone but me, I'm coming back for your thumbs. And that didn't happen, what you said. Uh. Sad shit. The motherfucker said he won't live no more. Jump. How much you give me? This is a beautiful, beautiful home. Smaller than my Hamptons crib, but that's bigger than Stevens. It's Italian contractors, obviously. Look at all these gold records. Whoa. What do we have here? You like that shit? A little Christmas present to myself. Isn't that a sight to behold? I do so love a good firearm in my hand. That gelding, name is Sidney. So how come you never wrote a song about him? <laughs> when you and little Jimmy were writing partners on all his hits, did you write the music and him the lyrics, or was it the other way around? We, uh, we had our own process. So that ooh, I could do, I could dooly do, I'm so blue, that spring from your experience or the little brothers? One could write a song about a horse. But in order for it to be a hit with your target audience, you'd have to have a mounted cop on him be ripped up the ass with a Mac-10, no? Let's get right to the point, huh? What's in this for you? If you read Chuck D's book, 
You know that he advises that reparations be made by the Jewish studio moguls in Hollywood on account of the way black folks have been portrayed in the film. Now, it's only germane to this argument in as much as I feel that the grievances in the music business are far worse. You're talking to the wrong white man, my friend. My people were the white man's nigger when yours were still painting their faces and chasing zebras. As far as Louis B. Mayer is concerned, what are you, fucking nuts? My lawyers have done a little research. I think that the final figure is somewhere around $400,000. Now, a cashier's check made to a Mrs. Idella Willis will set the record straight. Or what? Well, what was it that she called him? Oh, yeah. That nice man. I think she said. Some fuckers on the phone for you. Good morning, Herman. I'm listening. Good. I wouldn't want you to miss anything I have to say. I've been thinking about it a long time. Go on. You're gonna have to find some other schmuck to have your altruistic moment with. You do know what this means, Herman. Stu enough to say it over the phone. Let's hear it. I don't threaten, Herman. I act. Genius. You're getting yourself in way over your head here. Why don't you think about backing up a little bit? You know, let sleeping dogs lie. Hey, Soprano. Let me share with you what I suspect about this gangster rap shit. I think you probably got a degree in sociology from the city college. I grew up in the projects. Delta 13. Killed a man. Later on, I got a degree. But urban planning. You were close. Now, when it comes to which is mightier, the pen or the motherfucking sword, I let the situation dictate. Don't press it. I'm gonna do my part to keep Mr. Rapkin's people working. What's that supposed to mean? Expect to hear from Goldstein, Baum, and Warrenov. They'll be representing Miss Willis in the lawsuit. You gonna sue? With what I pay in retainers? Fuck yeah. I hear that. Yeah, well. Listen, Tatala. Be advised that on your artist Scratcher's last single, you sampled a backing vocal from the Shabli's 1968 song, Riff With It. For which F-Note Records controls the master recording rights. No shit. Yes, shit. I would, of course, have to cut a sue. I'll see you in court. Fucking legal fees. What kind of Moulinians are these? They call themselves gangsters. It's a new fucking day. That's him. Remember, they don't want nothing above the neck. Let's do it. Whoa. Donuts. No wonder he can't lose weight. Where he's going now? Yo, sir, excuse me. What? Uh, could you pull forward so we can get out? Yeah, give me a minute. Police department. Where's your badge? Man, I said move this piece of shit fucking now. Get the fuck out of my face. I want to waste this motherfucker too? Let Soprani get his dumb. I'm gonna pop him when he gets out.